Good evening. My name is Monika Zamuiska. I am a second year student of military University of Land Forces from Wrocław in Poland. And today I would like to talk about quality analysis of audio video transmission in an OFDM based communication system. At the next slide, you could look at the agenda. The presentation is divided into five parts. At the beginning, a quick introduction and a few words about OFDM modulation. At the next, present in details two models of communication channel, audio and video. And at the end, I will discuss a summary and a conclusion. So, let's start. What is the OFDM modulation? The OFDM is the most popular modulation which is used in the modern communication systems. The academic definition of modulation says that the modulation is a special preparation of data for transmission in the communication channel. The OFDM has a lot of advantages. In our opinion, the most important are, at first, low out-of-band emission, at the second, good immunity to narrowband and frequency selective interferences at the next relative simple implementation in digital circuits and at the last scalability OFDM may be efficiently used in both narrowband and wildband and even ultra wildband system okay so let's start from description uh, results discussion for the model of communication system for audio transmission at first uh, this figure present a block diagram of model communication system the model was created in the mathwork simulink software the simulated system is based on dap yeah uh, for simplification the model system assume a single channel it's mean mono transmission therefore the multiplexion is not needed now yeah the data are protected from distortion by the four error correction encoder and random interleaver next we have dqpsk baseband modulator serial to parallel conversion and of course ofdm modulator and the um, Communication channel finished by adaptive white Gaussian noise channel. Uh, in our system, we use the forward error correction method, which compiles with the DAP system. In the transmitter, we combine two encoders, BCH encoder and convolutional encoder. The encoded efficiently is one hour four. Of course, in the receiver, we have inverse operation Viterbi decoder and BCH decoder uh, here we have parameters of the system and audio samples the original files were prepared in OGG format with 32 kilobyte per second bitrate and 44.1 kHz sampling hertz per frequency uh, symbol link reads with the same sampling frequency and every sample uh, is represented by 16-bit value. After the channel coding, the modulation, the audio signal occupies 1.44 MHz bandwidth. Yeah? And this figure shows the system performers. Uh, its preparation requires small modification of the system model. The input voice sample was replaced by the Bernoulli binary generator with the bitrate equal to the bitrate of the voice sample. Each simulation was executed for different channel quality. This is signal to noise ratio in the range from 2 to 5 decibels. The signal to noise ratio is shown on the x axis. The y axis show achieved bit error rate the bit error rate was calculated for two transmission points this is before and 
After forward correction, the blue line represents the result calculated before the error correction, what is also called as channel bit error rate. As you can see, if we didn't use an error correction, then the quality of transmitted audio signal would be unacceptable because more than 10% of bits would be distorted. The red line shows the bit error rate after the error correction. As you can see, the 10 to the power of minus 4 bit error rate is mm, achievable with SNR equal to about 4.2 decibel. But now, is the big question, yeah? What level of SNR or bit error rate is needed in order to achieve the good or acceptable of audio quality? So, we can hear it. Let's check some sample, yeah? In the paper, you can check result for more language. Due to time limitation, I prepare only American English samples with female and male lecture. Here for some cases you can see a little difference between birds for the same SNR levels. It is due to the fact that in this case the bird was calculated for the deterministic data, but still this difference are very small and are the visible only for the very low broke. bit error rates. Uh, first, let's enough. listen the original female samples. With SNR close to 5 decibels, the, the bird is close to 10 broke. to the power of minus the 6. These are very good communication condition. The sample sound. Now, let's check the sample is very high. This is 10 to the power of minus 2 B to error rate. And small warning, please prepare to the mm, a lot of noise, yeah? The stems of the tall glasses <laughs> For bear equal to 10 the to the power of minus 4, off. you can still hear a small noise. Uh, if we base our analysis on the single voice sample, we could conclude that the good balance between quality of audio signal and communication requirements is achievable with bare close to 10 to the power of minus the 5. Of the tall glass In our system, we achieve the result for audio transmission the with SNR close uh, 4.5 decibel. And this is uh, some interesting information. However, in case of the it main lecture sample, the, the quality bit. is worse and you can hear small noise. Also, the SNR difference between 10 to the power of minus 5 and 10 to the power of minus 6. Burst is small. It is only 0 0.3 decibel. Therefore, it is much better to design the system for 10 to the power of minus 6 bit error rate, which practically guarantee perfect voice quality. Now let's go to the video transmission model and quality analysis. The communication channel for video transmission is similar to the previous one, which was used for audio transmission. The main difference comes down to the input data preparation and modulation parameters, which we optimize for required bitrate. The physical layers of the system is similar to default BT2. The video input data consists of the three streams. Each stream carries an information about different color components, rest, 
green and blue. Also, the compression algorithm is implemented for every of these components. After the compression, three streams are multiplexed into a signal data stream. This operation is required by the forward error correction. In compression to the audio communication system, the video system uses three hour four forward error correction and higher order basement modulation 256 QAM and the same channel with white Gaussian noise. Most of video compression algorithm is licensed. Therefore, we decide to use the well-known method with the use in MPEG. Implemented algorithm divide every video frames into 8 by 8 blocks and calculate the transformation for every blocks. In our case, the transmitter use two-dimensional discrete cosine transformation and of course the receiver perform the inverse operation. The next important element of the communication system is responsible for the channel protection coding. The same as is the default BT2. We use in our system the combination of BCH and LDP seq encoders. The efficiency of use coding is 3 hour 4. Here we have parameters of the system and video samples. The original files were prepared in MP4 format with 418 by 270 pixels resolution. Simulating software reads in, in RGB color space and keep the original resolution. Use parameters allowed to the achieve video transmission in 3.4 MHz, MHz channel. Due to different parameters of the modulation and channel coding, the system performance for video transmission looks totally different than performance to the audio system. The red line shows the bit error rate before the error correction and blue one is for data after the error correction. As you can see, both lines indicate the same system performance for SNR up to 27 and half decibel. Small chain resulting for the error correction is visible for 28 decibels. For higher signal to noise ratio, the chain is of course bigger. It's worth pointing of that if we want to achieve very low bar, this is close to 10 to the power to, to the power minus 6 when we have the have very good signal quality. The signal to noise ratio has to be close to 13 decibels. The 10 to the power of minus 4 bit error rate is achievable with SNR equal to about 4.2 decibel. But now is the big question again. What level of SNR or bit error rate is needed in order to achieve the good or acceptable quality? Yeah? and we can see it so let's check the result in the right top corner uh, is the original input video on the left side uh, we have got uh, three different snr results so i would like to run everything uh, you can see that even single decibels make the significant differences quality of videos with bursts close to 10 to the power of minus 2 and 10 to the power of minus 3 is totally unacceptable. In each case, you can see a lot of artifacts which are visible at every frame. In case of bar close to the 10 to the power of minus 5, you can still noise single artifact and color destruction. Therefore, the video should be transmitted over the channel with very low bit error rates. Okay, and we like to put another sequences to see is the same situation the sum up to sum up snr requirements mm, for audio and video transmission mm, are totally different audio signal have low bitrate 
Therefore, we can transmit them our communication channel using low order modulation and high coding protection. The downside to this approach is low spectrum efficiently, but it is acceptable in many applications. On the other hand, the video transmission in system with limited bandwidth may be challenging. In our case, we had to increase modulation order to 256 QIM and reduce for error correction to 3 hour 4. As a result, the SNR requirement for video transmission increased to almost 30 decibel. This work presents the first stage of our research, which is targeted to design power line communication system and mini environments which could be used for audio and video transmission. In the next steps, we are going to design the simulated system in AGL and verify it using FPGA in the loop technique. After this, we plan to do practical experiment using SDR, so software defined radio platform. And this is finished and thank you for your attention.